Oh. Wow. The judges come rolling out with this giant metal box. I don't have a clue what's underneath it. I hope that it's something I want. Fish. <laughs> Home cooks, please join Jennifer and Chrissy up at the front. We just saw what you could do with root vegetables. But for this elimination challenge, you'll have to show off a whole new set of skills. Are you ready to see what you're working with? Yes, yes chef! chef! One, two, three, lift! This is amazing. I see so many different types of protein. I'm extremely excited. You have leg of lamb, octopus, duck legs, ground beef, turkey, king crab, whole salmon, clams, and pork shoulder. A very good protein. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I can nail this challenge. Each of you will be cooking with a different one of these proteins. But there are only nine proteins and 11 of you. Oh. That's right, Jenny. You get to save two home cooks from elimination. Your decision will have a huge impact on the course of the competition. Because at the end of this challenge, there will be two home cooks eliminated. Wow. There's twice as much pressure and twice as much stress. With that in mind, Jenny, who are you going to save? Pick me, Jenny. Pick me. I don't know how much she wants to save the prairie guy, but the odds are looking pretty slim. I'm going to save Chrissy. And Jennifer, get your butt up here. This is a strategic choice for me. I picked Chrissy because I feel like I can probably beat her later on in the competition. And Jennifer, because every time she cooks, she's going to get stronger, and I don't want her to have that advantage over me. <laughs> Jenny, you have one final advantage. Oh, my gosh. You get to choose the order in which everybody else picks their protein. Who are you going to choose first? Strategy-wise, I want to pick on cooks first that I can probably beat later on in the competition. I'm going to choose Tony first. I'm going to take the crab. Wow. I chose the crab because I want to do something creative and challenging and awesome. Who's next? Colin. East Coaster. Josh. Taking claps. Cliff. I'm choosing the duck legs. Andre. I need that pork. Oh, this guy's heavy. I'm so glad to work with the pork because I've worked with it so many times. Steven. Ground beef. Chanel. I've cooked every single protein on that table except the octopus. I'd rather go home taking a risk <laughs> if I have to go home at all. Two remaining home cooks. Alyssa. Alyssa, please give me lamb. Don't give me turkey, please. I'm going to take the turkey. Thank God. <laughs> Jenny, why did you choose Rosine last? Because he is one of the biggest competitors here. That's uh, a huge compliment coming from her, so I'll take it. Please take your lamb and head back to your station. Lamb is something I grew up eating, so I lucked out going dead last. <laughs> this kitchen has everything you need to succeed, including premium German-made Mila appliances. You only have 60 minutes! Home cooks, are you ready to make us a dynamite dish? Yes, yes chef. chef! Your time starts now! Oh, they're not there. <laughs> oh, here we go. Herbs. I'm not really too familiar with duck legs, but I'm not going to play it so safe anymore. Duck is super moist. You know, it's just suck up all those flavors. Just grabbing everything. Is that any shit? Oh, there's a ricotta in there. La ricotta. Go, 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 go. go. Underlay, underlay, underlay. Hey, hey, hey. Good, job. Good job. Okay. 
I just want to stay here, cook for the judges, and prove myself that even though I'm young, I can stand with the big boys. Yes, yeah, Steven. Now, this is the first elimination challenge of season six, and you can see the fear on the home cook's eyes right now. I'm cooking for my life now. I got to stick to what I know and stick to what my dad taught me. Looking good. All right, let's do this. Each of these proteins require different skills, different methods of cooking. This is a big bird. Alyssa is dealing with turkey almost her size. But she is a hunter, and hunters love to butcher their own meat. Oh, like a pro. Never broken down an octopus before. It's slimy, yeah. Given the choice, I would pick something that I am familiar with. Because remember, two are going home. I would do the opposite. I would be pushing myself because of the fact that there are two going home. I don't have a lot of experience with crab, but I want to try something new. I make a crab and ricotta stuffed cannelloni. I want to show them that I can make a pasta, but it's also a, an opportunity to redeem myself. I'm gonna put everything I have into this damn dish. I got it, baby! This is an elimination challenge, and two people are going home, so I need to step up my game. I am making turkey breast. I'm gonna stuff it with some butter and aromatics. I don't like turkey, and I was stuck with it, but that's what I gotta work with. Andre. Walk me through the dish you're making today. I am making something that everyone comes to my house for every single year. Jerk pork and coleslaw. But what motivates you to actually cook from the heart when you're at home? My wife. She's a hardworking nurse, and I got to make sure she's fed right. What do you do at the hospital? I'm a housekeeper in the OR, so oh, wow. as soon as the surgeries are over, I got to be the guy to clean up the stuff. Wow. Did you make your own jerk spice? Yes, sir. I'm bringing it straight back to Jamaica. I got the lamb that I wanted, and if I successfully elevate it, the judges will be really impressed. Roisin, what are you doing with this leg of lamb? I'm gonna make a pressure cooker lamb ragu. I'm gonna use biryani spices. Biryani is one of our favorite things in the Middle East. You're making a biryani. Where's the rice? Uh, there is no rice. The starch is gonna be gnocchi. Have you ever done this before? Uh, no, I just made it up. You like to make up a lot of things, don't you? Exactly. I want to have the judges say that my dish is different. My whole life always felt different. I moved here from Iraq when I was eight years old to a very small town. Being different has really pushed me to do inventive things and stand out. Yeah. Steven chose the ground beef, which I think is a difficult protein to work with. Flavoring it and being able to elevate it so it feels much more luxurious. I'm making my play on the Greek-style kefta sandwich. I'm familiar with ground beef because with skating, most of the money goes to training, so we can't buy like the most expensive cuts. Oh, yes. But you just need to know how to work with it. I want to get a freaking good sear on my keftas. 30 minutes! Oh, 30 minutes has gone by! Keep it going, keep it going. Two people are going home. I'm not going to eat one of them. I'm making a barbecue pulled duck sandwich with a red cabbage slaw. The most I've done with duck is throw it on the smoker or roast it in the oven. All right. This time, I'm cooking the duck legs in a pressure cooker. Let's see if we can get some of this cherry wood smoke inside this duck. This is completely out of my comfort zone right now. Mm. Hi there, Cliff. Hey there, Chef. Hey. You want to taste sauce? A little barbecue sauce, I'm guessing. Yes, sir. Mm. That is good. Very All good. All right. Cliff, what's your day job? From nine to five, I'm doing like desk side support work. So I'm helping people fix their computers. But my food dream is to have my own little barbecue stop where I can bring all the kind of barbecue I, I grew up eating right here. That sounds fantastic. Keep an eye on that duck leg. Make it tasty and elevate it, okay? Yes, sir. Good luck with it. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. I'm making a Greek octopus with a tomato reduction. My husband and I go to restaurants a lot. It's definitely one of our hobbies. So I know I can elevate it with the plating and the look. For the past few months, I started developing an idea for a restaurant. It's not part of my business plan to go home on this challenge. I would have been great with that octopus. Chanel's a badass. Ooh, 
He approves. <laughs> Over on Collins Station, he's got salmon. My plate is salmon with caper relish, pistachio dust, a cauliflower smash, a bacon crumble, and a parmesan tuile. This cook is so important to me right now, I just don't want to go home today. Oh man, Colin's all over the place. Ten minutes! Ten minutes for the dynamite protein oh, dish! Doing great! Keep it going, keep it going! I'm pushing for time here. Look at, look at, look, oh my gosh! I burnt my fish. The home cooks are fighting for survival in their first elimination challenge, cooking proteins to impress the judges. Two people are going home, I am not going to be one of them. At the end of this challenge, two home cooks will be sent home, and Colin is struggling with his salmon dish. I burnt it. I burnt my fish. Look at, look, oh my god. I actually had two pieces of fish. I debone it, salt and pepper it, throw in the pan as fast as I possibly can. I'm in the weeds. Collins had to cook a second piece of salmon. I don't think he'll get it done in time. Hot, hot, hot. It's interesting to see what's happening here. You have cooks that are keeping it too simple, not pushing hard enough, and you have other cooks being a little bit too ambitious, and they may fall because of it. Wake up every day and say, I'm going to make something crazy. He's like Willy Wonka. <laughs> Rojin is like a mathematician. He's a magician. My brain hurts when I talk to him. I'm not going home today. Five minutes! Five more minutes left! Keep it up. You got all this. Push right to the end. Yep. Oh my gosh. This could be burnt. Oh my god. My lamb ragu is scorched, and I have no choice but to try and salvage something off the top. I'm worried about Cliff. He is just now taking the lid off his pressure cooker. Damn, it's not cooked enough. I'm trying to pull the duck, but it's not pulling. Oh, wow. Cliff's duck is actually not tender enough to pull the meat away from the bone. All right, new plan. I don't have time to argue with this duck leg. Let's just cut the meat off the bone. Damn it. 30 seconds. Clock is ticking. Last push. Come on. Everyone else is plating, and my fish is still cooking. Looks like that sea creature. <gasps> It's almost there, almost there. There we go, that's what I was looking for. There's so much happening right now that I don't know where to look. Five, four, three, two, one, heads up! Wow. OMG. Damn. So glad I cooked two pieces of fish. <laughs> nice work, everyone. Tony. Please bring your dish to the front. I made a crab and ricotta stuffed cannelloni with crab, tomato, and caper sauce. Have you worked with crab before? Not much. And you got first pick? Yes. Well, it sounds like you took a bit of a risk. I did. Well, at first glance, I think the dish looks very eye-catching and appealing. What I'm looking for in a cannelloni dish like this is the lightness to that pasta, a good amount of filling. But I still want to be able to taste that sweet, succulent crab meat. That is very good. Well, thank you. You are masterful when it comes to flavors and building sauces. And the sauce on this cannelloni just helps elevate the sweet flavors of that crab meat. That I'd be happy to have on my restaurant menu. Thank you. What an honor. Good job, Tom. <laughs> Holy crab. That's amazing. Colin, please bring up your dish. I want the judges to see that I do have some uh, technique. And some salmon crusted skin on with caper relish, smashed cauliflowers underneath, and a bacon crumble. How's the cook on the salmon? Medium rare. This is a nice medium rare. Salmon is nicely cooked. But what is this? That there is a Parmesan tuile. You added a lot of components in there that might not have needed to be there. Okay. Too many ideas. You only needed one to make that salmon shine. Okay. 
Alyssa, you're up next. It's a wild turkey supper with wild rice. You're a huntress, right? Yes. Have you ever killed turkey? I wish. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's taste the turkey. Should be the star of the show here. The turkey is very succulent. Have you cooked wild rice before? Uh, just once or twice. You know we're sending home two home cooks today, right? Yes, chef. You tell me if you think the wild rice needs a little more time. Yes. The rice is chewy. I'm super disappointed. I think I'm packing my bags and going home. You tell me if you think the wild rice needs a little more time. Yes. The taste I took earlier tasted cooked, but I was wrong. So you're gonna have to give us a lot more than some turkey and rice. I just want to see more creativity. Cliff, please bring up your dish for tasting. I'm pleased with the way it looks. It's nice and big, the way we like it in Texas. <laughs> this is barbecue duck sandwich with red sandwich. cabbage slaw. That's a pretty big sandwich. <laughs> I want to see quality over quantity. The barbecue sauce has a nice acidic edge to it. You know, technically, that duck is cooked, but I don't think it's quite cooked to the extent that you wanted it to be. A look of that sandwich feels a little too ordinary. Not quite a bullseye. Hi, Cliff. Oh, Chef. Sauce is so good, but it's a sandwich. This is Master Chef Canada. I need to see technique and sophistication. Don't disappoint me, Cliff. I will not, Chef. If you get the chance. I'm hoping and praying this sandwich is enough to get me through. Rogine, please bring your dish up. It's biryani gnocchi with uh, lamb ragu. You used the pressure cooker. Yes. How much moisture did you put in? I miscalculated the fat on the lamb, so it evaporated too quickly and burned the bottom. I picked out as much as I could. That scorching aroma travels up through the unscorched lamb, and it contaminates it with a very burnt flavor. Think that happened here? My hope is that it didn't. If this is burnt, it's the end of the road for you. You managed to mask that burnt flavor that you had from the bottom of the pressure cooker. Very multi-layered. I love the use of spices. You got lucky, my friend. Stephen, please bring up your dish for tasting. I hope the judges appreciate how I push myself out of the box. I did my play on a kefta sandwich with a taboule salad. Steven, you are a professional figure skater, right? Yes. Sometimes the judge is very harsh. Uh, they're truthful. Truthful. Well, I can tell you, I am very, very truthful. I think the kafta is under season, okay? And it's dry. It's a good dish, but it's able to compete at the level that we want here. Competition is fierce. Andre, please bring up your dish. I made jerk pork with festival and a side of coleslaw. Cornbread? It's a type of cornbread. It's fried, it's sweet, it's called a festival. It is firm and dense, has a wonderful little crunchy outside. Pork, a sauce with this would probably just tip it over the edge. But lovely blushing pink. I somewhat would expect no different than a great jerk spice from you, Andre. The balance and the way that it works with the flavor of the pork without that fiery heat. Authentic. This is what we need to see in this competition. Thank you, Chef. Chanel, please bring your dish up to the front. As I'm walking up to the judges, I can barely breathe. So it's a Greek octopus. 
served with tomato medley reduction and crispy chickpeas and potatoes for freshness. You picked the octopus. Did you cook it before? No, never. You pick something that you've never cooked before in an elimination round. I'm honestly here to grow and to learn. I like my octopus tender on the inside and crispy on the outside. So, do you think you got it? I think so. You got it? Yay! You hit that Mediterranean flavor. I feel the cherry tomatoes, I feel the garlic, the olives. It's a perfect complement to that octopus. Now, I would suggest make the sauce less chunky, okay, to get this nice balance of texture. But other than that, it's got a lot of the Greek classics in there, but it's done in a nouvelle Chanel way. Exactly. <laughs> Good job, Chanel. Woo! Good job, dude. There were some really great dishes, well thought out dishes, very tasty dishes. But on the other end of the scale, there were a few that disappointed. It really comes down to a piece of protein that's not seasoned or cooked long enough. It was the three unders, under season, under cook, or underwhelming. The top two dishes of the night were made by home cooks who took risks on unfamiliar proteins. The second best dish of the night was made by... Chanel. Woo! Doing really good. I think I proved to the judges that I'm riskier than they probably thought I was. And the best dish was made by... Tony! Yeah, Congratulations! <laughs> I did it! Yeah. <laughs> you and Chanel will both be captains in next week's team challenge. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm gonna be the team captain and can't wait to get started. Awesome. If I call your name, please come up to the front. Colin. I could definitely be going home today. Steven, Alyssa, and Cliff. I'm still not knowing what's going on. My heart's pumping. I didn't come here to go home this early. Colin and Alyssa, please step forward. What we saw from you tonight isn't gonna cut it. But your salmon and turkey were perfectly cooked. And enough to keep you in this competition. Please head back to your stations. Stephen? At just 21, you beat home cooks with decades more experience to grab that white apron. Cliff, you served one of the best audition dishes we have ever tasted. Your barbecue style is a reflection of who you are. And when you open your place, three of us will be the first in line. Please leave your aprons at your stations. I'm proud of myself. I mean, I know I accomplished a lot. I got the first apron, and I felt that I was able to bring something different. My family's gonna be super proud. Knock them out, keep knocking them out. Being mentored in the MasterChef kitchen is a life-changing experience and is priceless. Love you guys! Skating, top 12 MasterChef, I got a badass resume. I came here as a home cook, and I'm leaving here as one of the top 12 home cooks in Canada. This season on MasterChef Canada. Three, come on! Go, go, go! Yeah. The country's best home cooks. Double fisting! Woo! Yeah. Will face the trickiest challenges ever. It's gonna be stressful. It's also gonna be fun. <gasps> They'll cook for picky eaters. Kids are here! Lunch is served! 
and refined palates. When I think of indigenous food, I think very approachable, and I had a lot of fun eating that. They'll cook for love. Ding, ding, ding. I think it's a wedding. <laughs> and they'll cook to impress a Canadian champion. An Olympic hero, Tessa Virtue. <laughs> they'll face bumps in the road. And bumps on the line. How long on that salmon and that lamb? Eight minutes? Yeah. That's killing me. They'll receive some big surprises. Oh, and serve incredible dishes. The plating is genius. It's like a symphony of flavors happening in my mouth right now. Wow. This is next level. Thanks, chef. It's a quest. Yeah, baby. For the ultimate culinary prize. Are you ready? I didn't come here to lose. I came here to win. I'm the one to beat because I don't give up. And I'm a damn good cook.